Rosh Hashanah Bar Yechia. She was of the Torah. This week we read Parashat Ekev. And something very interesting, the Torah uses this Lashon that is not so common, it uses the word Ekev. There's many Pidushim, what this word Ekev means exactly. It says, Ekev Tishmi'un. Simple, we understand that, you know, as a result of listening. And later on in the parasha, it says the opposite way also. It says both. It says, later on it says, if you, if you forget Hashem and you don't listen to the mitzvot, it says, Kaguyim Hashem Hashem Ma'avir Pinachem, just like the Goyim that Hashem is going to destroy, Keto Lidun Ekev Lo Tishmi'un Bekol Hashem Elokech. So it says, and, and if you don't listen, then you're going to be destroyed. So as it both uses the same parasha of Ekev both ways. And it says also, it compares us to the Goyim. It says that Hashem is going to destroy the Goyim. So I just want to explain one explanation of what the word Ekev comes from. And we know that the Bnei Israel come from Yaakov Avinu. And Yaakov Avinu, his name was Yaakov Avinu, it says, because it says, when he was born, it says, Yadu'ah that his hands was grabbing onto the heel of, Ekev means the heel also, the heel of, of Isaf. So I was, I was wondering, I said, just because that sound is born, that's what his name is from, usually it's a little more deeper than that. I mean, that's what you can name somebody because he's holding on that. It's, 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 it's hard to, it must be something more. It's just, that's, on the surface, that's what it was. And it was also symbolism. Why was Yaakov holding on to the, the yield of Isaac? We know that Yaakov already knew, or they both knew that, while they went saw the mother, they knew that Isaac was gonna be a Rasha, and Yaakov was gonna be a Tzaddik. He wanted to be the Bechor, because he knew that, that Isaac is not suitable to be the Bechor. He's not on that level to be the, to take the, the, all the responsibilities of being the Bechor. Therefore, he tried to take it away from him. He tried to he hold on to him because he tried to take it away from him. Later, he couldn't. He ended up buying, he bought the rights of the firstborn rights from him later. What is this? What, what was the symbolism? Symbolism is the difference, and this is really what the reason why Hashem chose the Bnei Yisrael. What does Esav mean? If you look at Esav, what does Esav mean? Where does his name come from? It comes from Asiyah, made, which means he was born fully, fully grown. When he's got more hair, and it's fully grown. Which means that the Goyim, and what, what, so when Hashem wanted to give the Torah to Bnei, to Bnei Israel first, he went to other nations of the world. And they asked what is written in the Torah. Bnei Israel didn't ask. What's the difference? And if and why would if we, why wouldn't we ask? Maybe it's going to be too hard for us. Why why don't we ask? Because this is the answer is that the, the Bnei Israel will have the Emunah Hashem that they understand that even if it looks something looks like it's hard in the beginning, in the end it's going to be it's going to be good in the end, even though it's hard in the beginning. Like it says, Bama Tan Torah, it says, that she brings it down, it says, What does it mean now if you listen to me? She says, even though now it seems like it's hard, all beginnings are hard. Call that Hadok Kashot. But he says, in the end, It's going to be smooth and easy in the end. Which means is that, Shem in this world for us a little bit, there's challenges sometimes. Something is a little bit hard for us, not convenient. Some of us might be a little inconvenient. But we know that in the end, it's the best thing for us. You're not only in, on, but besides, even in this world, and for sure, Olam Haba. That's what Ekev means. Ekev is the heel, which is all the way at the bottom of the person's body, which means that you have to look at the end. You have, the Goyim, they look at short term. They look at short term. It's easy for me to do now. They, they don't judge on the future. That's the Bnei Sel. They want Hashem to understand, even though we don't understand it right away. We know that Hashem knows what's the best for us, what's the right thing for us. Where do we see that? We see in the Haggadah, it brings down that Isav went to Har Se'ir, Yaakov, Banav, Yadu, Mitzrayim. Why did the Haggadah have to tell us that Isa moved to Har Se'ir and Yaakov went there? What's the connection? The connection is because they knew the tradition from Abraham Avinu, that Bnei Ben-Betanim, that he says that his children are going to be slaves in a foreign land for 400 years. They both knew the tradition, they knew that. So now, which children of, didn't say which children of Abraham Avinu. They are both grandchildren. They threw away Ishmael. Now Yitzhak had two children. So, one of them is going to be fulfilled the 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 They're going to be estranged in the farm there. And what is the after? It's it's worth it. You're going to be slaves in the farm. Then afterwards you're going to go out with an Gadol. So what did Esav? So Esav said, I don't want to be part of that. I'm going to move away. I'm going to Har Se'ir. I don't want to. I don't want to be slaves. I don't want the Rechush Gadol. And they said, they, we went to Mitzrayim, but we got the Rechush Gadol. It was worth it. What's the Rechush Gadol? That's the Torah. We have to suffer in the beginning. And because of that, we, it was, the Mitzrayim was a good barzel. It purified us, it broke our midot. And because of that, we were able to be on the level to accept the Torah. And that's what the Torah is emphasizing over here. One 
The Peshat is that the Torah is emphasizing that not always does the Mishnah seem like it's so easy in the beginning, but if a person does it anyway and looks at, and know if he has the Imunah that he knows that it's going to be good for him after, and a person does it, then Hashem will give all the Berachot, not only Olam Haba, even Olam Bazei, all these Berachot. But if a person does it, then he's like the Goyim. That's why it says, Ekev Lot Tishwan, Hashem is going to show you like the Goyim. That's the connection with the Goyim. That's just one thing to add on that she happens to say on Ekev, Ima Mitzvot Kalot Shadam Dash Akevav Tishmeon. He says, if the light mitzvot that a person steps on with his heel, that's how she explains it, to keep the light mitzvot. So someone will say, what's this light mitzvot that it's referring to? There's a Gemara in our famous Gemara in our Dazara, Dav Kimel, that says that in the future, the Goyim are going to have complaint, a complaint to Hashem. They're going to say, how come you didn't give us the Torah? How come you didn't choose us? So of course, Hashem's going to go, then they're going to say, yeah, but you forced Bnei Sarka, why did you force us? Kafal and Hakeh Gigit, so force us. And then the Gemara says, okay, you know what? I have an easy mitzvah I'm going to give you. It says, Mitzvah Kala I have called Sukkah. That's what the Gemara says. I'm going to give you that mitzvah. Everybody knows that. Gemara to test. Te- on Tav Gimel and Abu Dazara to test them out. Okay, they all went and they made Sukkot. And then Hashem made the sun very, very hot. And they all left the Sukkah. So they said, so what's wrong? Jewish people also have to leave the Sukkah if it's Mr. Ed. No, but you don't have to kick the Sukkah, the Gemara says that. So the same thing over here also. It's the same lesson also. Which means that the Goyim, they... They, it's not. It's hard for them, inconvenient. Hashem is testing them the same way. So it could be someone who said, "That's what she means." It's what kalot. What's the light mitzvah? And tam dash because they put it, stepped on it with their feet, like they kicked it after. But the point is that we have to be different than the goyim. We have to appreciate what Hashem, we have, if we have understand. We have the emunah Hashem. We know whatever Hashem does, even if we don't always understand it. There's that Hashem. If we we, we do the mitzvah the right way, we'll have all the berachot and we'll be happy in this world and end. Is that Hashem? חזק בו. חזק בו.